Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about Jmenu in Java. So let's start. So I'll come to this example folder or package and inside this I'll create a new Java file or Java class and I will name this uh, Jmenu uh, demo and I'll click enter to create it now the class is created so I'll uh, create the main method so public static wide main and here I will pass in uh, string args and now I'll pass in curly braces now I'll create the constructor of this class here. So J menu demo and now I'll create curly braces. Now here inside this constructor I'll create a J frame. So J frame frame equals new J frame and I'll put semicolon now it will start showing error so I'll import this J frame now I'll use a uh, frame dot set default control space close operation and now here I will pass in J frame dot exit on close now we'll create a frame uh, dot set bounds control space bounds and now I'll pass in zero zero and five hundred width and five hundred height and now I'll make this frame visible control Z and I'll present a frame dot set visible control space true and now if I run this but first we have to call this uh, uh, class in our main method so here I will use uh, j menu demo demo equals new j menu control space and uh, I'll pass in here this and now I'll run this now the file is running and now we have this J frame here so now we will add a menu bar and a J menu into this so for that I will close this I'll come here and uh, first we will add J menu bar so J menu bar menu bar equals new j menu bar and I'll put uh, this and now I'll import this j menu bar now we will create a j menu so j menu uh, menu equals new j menu and now I'll pass in the name of the menu so I'll use file file menu so now this uh, menu start showing error so I'll import this and import and now we will add uh, menu item is into this so now here I will use j menu item item equals new j menu item and now here I'll pass in the item name so new and now I'll put semicolon here now I'll import this j menu item import now I'll copy this and uh, we'll control C this but I think I misspelled this so I'll correct this item and now I'll copy this 
control C this and now I'll control V it here and then here and then here and then again now I'll make this two and now I'll make this uh, open and now I'll make this save and this three this four and this is uh, uh, save as and this five and this exit now we have completed our item so now we need to add this item into our menu so I'll use here menu dot add and now I'll add here the menu item so I'll use item and I'll put semicolon here now I'll copy this control C this and now I'll make enter here and now I'll control V this again again and again so I'll make this uh, two this three this four and this one five now I'll add this menu into our menu bar so menu bar dot add and now I'll pass in here menu now I'll put semicolon here and now if we run this uh, Java file so if I run this file now the file is running we have added the menu uh, into the menu bar but it is not showing us the menu because we haven't added this menu bar into our J frame so I, I will come here and I will use frame dot add and here I will pass in uh, frame dot set J menu bar and here I will pass in the menu bar and now if I run this now you can see that the file is running and we have a menu bar here and now if I click on this file now we have this menu items inside this file menu now we will add in the edit menu as well so for that I will copy this whole J menu from here up to here I'll control C this and now I'll control V it here and uh, I'll uh, name this menu 2 and I'll make this edit and uh, I'll name this uh, item 6 7 8 9 and this one 1 0 and now I'll change this to uh, uh, undo this cut is copy this paste and this one is uh, paste special and now I'll make this uh, 6 7 8 9 and this one 10 and I'll make this menu 2 and now if I run this file run file now you can see an edit menu here as well now if I click on this nothing is showing up and if I click on this file you can see it is showing all the menu items up to here because we have to make this menu to two 
2 this 2 as well this one 2 as well as well as this and now if I run this run file now it is running again and now if I click on this edit now you can see we have these menu items inside this edit so I think that's all for today this was Jamino in Java and the next video we will use this click event on these uh, Jamino items uh, so we will learn about that I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you